So you want to know who the best fast baller of all time is? Well, that's easy. Let's just pick one from the dozens of legends who terrorized batters, broke stumps and oh yeah, completely changed the game of cricket forever. No big deal, right? What a marvelous catch. Jeffrey Dujon has made tremendous ground there. Well, let's start with a guy named Mal Malcolm Marshall. Ever heard of him? Of course you have. He was that short, unassuming guy from the West Indies who just happened to take 376 test wickets at a ridiculous average of 2094. But don't let that fool you. Marshall wasn't just good, he was a magician, fast, deadly accurate and with a bouncer that made grown men rethink their career choices. Sure, he's a candidate for the best, but if you like perfection and fast bowling, he definitely is. Once an anomaly. But wait, there is more. Let's not forget the Sultan of Swing, Wazim Akram. You know the guy who could make the ball talk? No biggie. Just 414 test wickets and 502 ODI wickets. Wazim didn't just swing the ball, he made it do the cha cha. Conventional swing, reverse swing, he could do it all. Someday, some say he's the best because, well, who doesn't love a baller who can single handedly win your World Cup? But hey, it's not like that's impressive or anything. Now, Got him! The switch has worked! Now, if you're into something a little more robotic, how about Glenn McGrath? The guy was like balling machine, only way more dangerous. With 563 test wickets at an average of 2164, McGrath didn't rely on sheer pace or wild swing. Oh no, he just landed the ball on a dime over and over again until batsmen were practically begging to be dismissed. Consistency is boring, right? Except when it's not and McGraw was any anything but boring when it came to tearing through batting lineups. That's inside edge. But maybe you like your fast ballers with a little more flair. Enter Dennis Lilly, the Australian who balled like he was in worse than shootout pace, aggression and a mustache that could rival Tom Selleck's. With 355 test wickets, Lily was a trailblazer. He was just he wasn't just fast, he was fast with style. So best of all time, he sure made a compelling case with every thunderbolt he delivered. There it is. Edge and that is the end of head. Stein gets the early wicket. And then there is Dale Stan, the modern day gladiator. With 439 test wickets at an average of 22.95, Stan didn't just ball fast, he balled fast with purpose. His outswinger, a work of art. His intensity, off the charts. If you're looking for someone who brought fear back to the fast bowling in, bowling in 21st century, Dale Stan is your guy. The best, he's certainly got the credentials and the passion to match. And of course, we cannot forget about Richard Hadley, the man who carried an entire nation's bowling attack on his shoulders. 431 test wickets and every single one of them taken with the kind of precision and skill that left batters scratching their heads. Hadley wasn't just a baller, he was a surgeon, dissecting batting orders with clinical efficiency. So was he the best? Drop. It went flying away to or maybe you prefer your fast ballers tall, mean and downright terrifying. Cotley Ambrose had all that and more. With 405 test wickets at an average of 2099, Ambrose didn't just take wickets, he dominated. His glare alone could send shivers down a batsman's spine. Was he the best? If intimidation is your game, Ambrose is hard to beat. Catch. Once an anomaly. It went fly. So, who was the best fast baller of all time? Well, here's the thing. Cricket isn't about finding the best or finding the one. It's about celebrating the greats, each with their own unique style, strengths and stories. Malcolm Marshall, Wazim Akram, Glenn McGraw, Dennis Lilly, Dale Stan, Richard Hadley, Cutley Ambrose, they all brought something special to the game. They all left a legacy. All that, my friends, is what makes cricket so beautiful. So instead of instead of asking who was the best, maybe it's time to you know just sit back and appreciate the legends, each in their own right, who have made this game unforgettable. And thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.